Guys, Bitcoin is right now pumping. In fact, it is pumping above my orange box here. Is this the moment we've been waiting for? I am going to talk about what this means for Bitcoin in today's video. I am going to talk about the whale movements we're seeing right here. This is the stuff you need to pay attention to. What's going on behind the scenes? I'm going to talk about the UN telling the Federal Reserve to stop raising interest rates and much more, guys. Today, we got an action-packed episode, so make sure to watch this from the beginning until the end. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And is this the moment we've been waiting for, guys? We are seeing crypto, traditional markets, Bitcoin pump like crazy here. In fact, you could see that from this point of support down at 18,913, we are right now pumping and we are pumping after finding some rejections here of my orange box one, two, three times. We are now having a candle actually breaking above this level. But guys, this is what you need to pay attention to right now because remember, we need to close preferably on the one day time frame. We need to close above the orange box. You can see that we have pumped above this level. Uh, recently, a lot of times, we've pumped here on the 21st of September, we pumped here on the 27th and on the 30th. Now, I am not ruling out that we could finally see a pump here because we've been going sideways for three weeks already. And uh, yeah, this is uh, like um, enough. It's potentially enough. I'm not saying that this is it. We could still continue to go sideways. But we have at least already gone sideways for a while. So I'm not ruling out a pump here for Bitcoin. I'm not ruling out us um, actually having a bullish October here. Because the last quarter, and October in particular, tends to be bullish for crypto. But what I believe here is that if we break above this level, if we consolidate above this level, and that also means, by the way, guys, that we need to break on the daily time frame. We need to break this triangle. Because you can see that at 20,000... 600 approximately we do have this downward sloping resistance not only that we also have on the daily time frame these moving averages this orange line right here this purple line so this is one major cluster of resistance but uh, this is something you need to pay attention to if we uh, continue to pump here we need to break above all of these levels guys until we consolidate above this level i'm not going to put too much into the pumps we're seeing right now but okay let's say we do that let's say we consolidate we pump and we uh, close above those levels then i am expecting bitcoin to then form a new level of consolidation which i do not think is going to be like significantly higher i don't think it's going to be like 27k or 30k or something but okay if we break through this level then let's make this the level of consolidation for a while and maybe let's make this the consolidation level for a while and then i do think that in general we're gonna you know do something like this and then we're gonna go down again we're gonna consolidate and then we're gonna have these uh, kind of price ranges where we range go sideways have a pump go sideways go down have sideways so in general, I think if you look back um, at this in like six months, I do believe that we're going to be in a similar vicinity at least. Now, it could be 18K, it could be 17K, it could also be 27K. But like in this general vicinity, I do think we're going to be in a couple of months as well. So meanwhile, what we're doing, of course, is we're trying to farm this volatility. My bots are still doing a... Uh, very good job here. All of these bots, you can see by every day I'm showing you this, they are increasing their profitability. This one uh, approaching 13% already. So that's absolutely fantastic. We're trading this volatility and I don't mind Bitcoin going up here. We do know it's always a matter of time until Bitcoin breaks these levels and goes to the upside. But let's see if this is the actual um, time we're gonna break above this close above it and consolidate or if we're gonna have another one of these fake outs just to drop down below my orange box as you know guys we need to take these orange boxes seriously these are not to be played with and until we break above those consolidate i am going to still be a little bit cautious here i'm not going to enter into a trade right at the orange box here and um, yeah i would be very careful doing that if I were you as well. Other than that, on the weekly time frame, we are also approaching or we're hitting this uh, resistance level on the weekly time frame. 
So we also need to break above it. this level. This could be a very bullish breakout though. So we're watching this. We're also watching the traditional markets. And the traditional markets are super interesting. Remember how I said yesterday that this was like the final major support level for the traditional markets and how that we needed to hold this level. And it seems like almost like the market were actually thinking, yeah, actually we do need to hold this level. And then boom, straight up here. Found some resistance on the way up here off of my orange line, of course, as expected, but major pump here for traditional markets, guys. This is a nice, very nice pump here. Let's see if we can see continuation when the traditional markets, well, the futures market is open right now, but when the stock market opens up in a couple of hours, let's see if we can continue this trend to the upside. That could, of course, be a major catalyst for Bitcoin to finally break above this level, consolidate and close on the daily time frame above the orange box, above this cluster of resistance here on this chart, and of course break above it on the weekly as well. So until we do that, guys, I'm still going to be cautious, but I'm not ruling out that that could actually happen. In fact, we do know it's going to happen with time. The question is, is now the time for us to do that? Let me know down in the comment section if you believe that. We're also seeing some movement with whales, guys. But before we do that, let me give you an update on the trading competition. So we do have a couple of very nice performances here from people. You know, the top five people are going to get invited into an exclusive group with direct access to me and some of the best traders in the world, of course. Top five winners on the profit and loss and on the trading volume here. So this is the leaderboard so far. How do you know if you are in this actual competition? Well, if you go to my description in the video, you sign up for OKX, you have signed up already, you could claim up to $10,000. Then you go to this link right here. It's going to take you to a page where you click join the competition. You transfer $50 to your trading account. That means that you are in and you are in the contest to try to be one of those uh, 10 winners. Five on the profit and loss, five on the volume. So that's how it works. The trading competition is underway. So you can still join. It's still early on in the competition. So let's look at these whales. So an unknown whale today transferred 7,000 Bitcoin almost, worth $133 million from an unknown wallet to another unknown wallet. Also, some Ethereum whales have been transferring $110 million worth of Ethereum and another one, $55 million. This is just within the last 24 hours, guys. Also, a Matic whale transferred $71 million. So what's going on here, guys? Do they know something we do not know? Well, let's talk about what happened actually yesterday with the Federal Reserve. Remember the meeting they were going to have? Well, it seems that they did have that. And they said it would have to do with, you know, the interest rate, something in relation to the interest rate. But from what I could see, they came out with this, which has something to do with like debit card transactions and like stuff which we do not really care about. So was this, did we get bamboozled by the Federal Reserve? Why did they say it had anything to do with interest rates? Maybe there's something I'm missing. If I am, let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, at this point, I feel fooled <laughs> by the Federal Reserve. But anyway, this is what I see or what I could see came out of that meeting. Now, what's interesting is that the major crypto whale, the whale that holds $2.8 billion in his wallet, 140,000 Bitcoin, Remember the Bitcoin he was accumulating here at 19,500 approximately. A lot of Bitcoin were accumulated there. Well, those Bitcoin, they're actually in profit, which is uh, very interesting because since accumulating at this level, the whale hasn't really been that active. So the Bitcoin he accumulated at these levels are at a profit right now. Uh, what we could also see is the UN came out and said that we should not see continuation of these raised interest rates and how it warns that a recession is likely linked to this monetary policy. However, the Federal Reserve quickly came out and said, well, Jerome Powell himself said that the central bank does not take account or does take account of the impact its policies have on the rest of the world, but would continue to lift interest rates to bring inflation under control. So, Yes, he wants to bring this under control and all of these Fed officials, they are continuing to say that they're going to increase, they're going to do all they can to bring inflation down, no matter the costs, basically. So this is what we got, guys. This is what we got. This is what you need to pay attention to right now on the short and on the long term. Be aware of these levels, guys. We need to break through them. And um, yeah, this is what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.